cool, hein My name is Ana Diaz, and me and my friend J Views are going on a road trip with the mission to create the perfect soundtrack for Harman Kardon Premium Sound in Volvo XC40. Tag along and follow the creative process as we go places and meet people, because the sounds and emotions we collect will be our inspiration. Three cities, three songs. In the end, you'll find our reflections. in Berlin to explore the cradle of electronic music. Berlin music scene, dynamic, experimental. Yeah, Berlin became the capital of electronic music back in the 60s, playing avant-garde music, bringing synthesizers, new sounds into the music, and created uh, this electronic music, which is so popular now. It is the city I decided to live in because it always surprised me. Berlin in three words right now would be busy, cold, and loud. Finally, it's time for Jay and me to get inspired by this epic city. So Berlin, it's a very particular looking city. It feels very concrete, symmetrical. To get in the right Berlin mood, Jay's meeting up with a true legend of sound at Schneiderschlager. Hey man! Hello! Hi. Hey, Jonathan. You Jonathan, yes? That's me, Come Andreas. In. So this nice to meet you. Office. Welcome. My name is Jonathan Dagan. I work under the name Jay Views. I produce, mix, engineer, perform, and all over create music for a living. Tell me a little bit, like 60 seconds, to tell me about modular synthesis. Uh, modular synthesis is about combining electronic sources to electronic recipients to generate waveforms that you can hear, that can control. Andreas Schneider is um, a mad professor of modular synthesizers. This waveform can be a clock. And this waveform can be a clock because just this, so if you have volume and time. The people who are popping up in Schneider's Laden, it's starting with a guy who just wants to get rid of his boring life. In the digital, always playing with a mouse, they just want to get physical. They want to find out how to patch cables and connect things. Up to those ones who are experienced as prominent DJs or musicians, producers, of any kind who use this stuff for inspiration and who also get back to hardware. Yeah, we came here to get inspired and to sample and to kind of like steal a little bit of your DNA and everything you've done throughout your entire life just to get a taste of it um, and see if it inspires uh, maybe a new piece of music. Wow. I feel like I'm in Germany, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like this is, this is a little bit of uh, driving in Berlin in an endless loop, you know, buildings. Yeah. 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 My name is Anna Diaz. I am a top liner and an artist and exec producer. Top liner writes the lyrics and the melody. It's very much about it getting the message across in the most clear, simple, and hooky way. Hi! Hi. How you good there? Hi, Hi nice Anna. to meet you, I'm Anna. <laughs> Come in. Thank you. <laughs> While Jay was hanging out with Schneider, I made my way to the west side to meet up with one of the coolest females in Berlin. My name is Gudrun Gut. I am a artist in the music field and have a record label. Mostly female artists. Now I'm working on my third solo album. I'm not a piano writer. 
No. No. So I sometimes <clears throat> I have a text idea. Mm -hmm. I start with the text with some just a line. Mostly I start with the drums or a sample I mm -hmm. have. Just fooling around with the, with this stuff where I can just turn some knobs. Yeah. It gives me like more the the fun back, and yeah. I you know, I find myself being in the studio like just fooling around for hours, and then oh I have to record something. <laughs> it's called play music, <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah. It's really fun. I get inspired by people. I came to Berlin in the seventies. Had my first bands in the eighties, like. And we were kind of the first punk band here. It wasn't really punk, but it was... When I meet new people, I, I really try to see them. And toured all over, like went to New York really fast and played all, all over the world. It was real fun and I played drums. And so I had a lot of girl bands in my life. I don't know why. It just more, was more, felt more natural, you know, kind of. It's not a very thought out process. It just kind of happens naturally as well. I feel like I take in my outside and my own uh, life and then and it comes out as music. <laughs> I push start and then you count one, two, three, four, start. Oh, how do this you give this is why the heads now up. you can give it a pre-delay and let it happen earlier. I get it. I thought this thing knows the future and could do a negative latency. Very much feels like you got into Schneider's head as if he invited you to the inside of his head. You know, volume on is volume on, and volume off is volume off, like the experience. With You're like a pioneer, I would say. Like well, how there are a lot of people who do things, they just don't get the recognition. And I got really pissed because I played like this international festivals, and then I'm the only female artist mostly. It's like really kind of boring, I think. I guess there is an uncompromising quality here with the way people approach art. Uh, and I admire that. I think it's beautiful. Did you uh, like kind of like route them left and right? Yeah, it's a stereo microphone, but you can uh, also run it mono, so you can left and right depends. What Inspirational sound is all around so us. You, you just need a way to capture it. And the guy with the right tools is Alex. I think if you want to catch a bigger ambience, yeah. that would be your weapon of choice. <laughs> That's a Neumann KU100, which is a head-shaped binaural microphone. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting microphone because it records as we hear and mm -hmm. perceive sound. If you want, you can hold it. Alex has a lot of knowledge when it comes to environment-specific music, uh, so he would be very much aware of the acoustics. So the sounds we can collect here are just like patterns of the city of Berlin, you know, patterns of humans and machines and everything that is happening around us. This is the juice of the city. I think musicians or creative people are more sensitive people. So maybe we as musicians are more sensitive to sound or... It's like the canary bird in the mine or something that's gonna die if it's bad or... But that, that's kind of our job. Our job is to be more sensitive. The, the, the past couple of days have been very hectic. We collected a lot of stuff, um, but we haven't had a chance to yet and, like listen and see where the song is gonna start from.
It's time to put the sound pieces together. And before Jay arrived, I had some time alone in the studio to work on the melody and lyrics. I don't like to have expectations. I just usually like to think that I'm safe and there's good things coming and then usually good things come. The more we stay in Berlin, the more I feel like I want to support that concept of patterns and loops, patterns and loops. And what we recorded today, some of it had the sound of the, of the train and like, it's such a, like the whole thing, the train is always like, it's a very repetitive movement. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. We kind of like. How's it going here? It's going well. Yeah. We just set up a nice loop. My name is Sebastian Lee Philip. I've been making music for about 15 years. Um, I've had several bands and since uh, 2015 I record as Die Wilde Jagd. I'm intrigued by, you know, what you can contribute. We heard your stuff, you know, before and I thought it was brilliant. It's like... Yeah, I'd love to just, um, you know, hook up a synth and see what comes out of it. Oops. Was it me? No, that was me. Oh, okay. any evolution other than more loops and more uh, patterns. No, I also really like what you said about this sort of growing of dynamic. I mean, that's something I'm really yeah. interested in, that something just keeps evolving and make a track that's long, you know? Yeah. We're not talking like about a regular pop song that's three or four minutes, but, yeah. you know, something that's extended. I think this repetition in crowd talk of cosmic music is what makes it exciting and creates this sense of transcendence in a way that you really get hypnotized. This monotony is, is, is turned into something different or more exciting in the listener's head. Well, the beginning of crowd music in, in Berlin, in the early 70s, that Every, everyone was, was looking for, for new things to happen. And uh, my theory was always like, because in West Berlin, we were surrounded by a wall, and that made us you know, like escape with our music uh, to, you know, to, to, to go more far, or I don't know, to get to dream or to, to yeah, escape from that. We have a beautiful emotion that's starting to build. Very simple. You know what? What's a little bit of a challenge for me now, um, typically, is to um, not over bombard the track with elements. That's a tendency of mine. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so I'm just trying to be mindful of that because uh, Sebastian mentioned like, oh, how beautiful the space is, and I totally agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Anna had some ideas for some melodies and vocals, and that sent me on a, on a journey of what this track is, you know. It could be cool to have like sleep, eat, sleep, eat, work, repeat, or those words, like, or eat, work, sleep, repeat, or eat, repeat, repeat. The minute she started to sing, all of a sudden, the entire concept flooded in. The entire concept of the whole song. And the only job right now is to not ruin it. That's it. End of act one. Mm. Like something, yeah, something else, long. you know? Pause. Cool. So it's um, Alex and Schneider and Sebastian. What else do we have in the track? The metro and the piano. I wish you could have met Gudrun. She was the oh. coolest person I've met. That's a great thing. When you start to work on a track, 
or anything and you can still tap into the source yeah. of where it came from and it doesn't go away for you. Okay, let's play it. The sounds of Berlin made our job easy and I'm proud of how the soundtrack is coming along. It's immersive and captivating, just like the city. Driving out of Berlin, the song reminds me of the radiating energy and everything sounds complete. Awake asleep. 